Welcome to the lecture series on object oriented analysis and design. We are beginning to understand the difficulties in each attempt becoming a very fresh attempt as though we are starting afresh. Each thing is becoming completely fresh new problem kind of a situation whereas, there are so many commonalities which are, which are binding together at a level of abstraction which we have to understand and spot. So, if each team starts afresh they can no, no, no doubt that they will not succeed. What is the constraint here? The software engineering world has made it absolutely clear it is quality imperative, business requirements, technology and people that is how we started sequencing everything quality imperative we need to have quality understood in an abstract idea called software engineering which is a double abstraction quality itself is an abstraction. So, we in year 2000 we have more or less standardized some idea of a framework for quality ISO 9000 2000 CMMI both of them have withstood the test of time 20, 20 years is a good time and we still say that whatever we do at the end of the day must pass the quality muster and that is the bigger gating criteria than involving ourselves with fantastic technology, new technology, latest technology, business requirements, work breakdown structure because after all this if it is a poor quality stuff it would not go out anywhere. Quality first, quality always, quality imperative and that is becoming very stiff because the international competition is such that it it's it's very tough 150 aspects are going to be measured for the software that you have developed let us think about it and should satisfy many of the criteria almost all criteria in a, in a proper manner it speaks for the software for a third party who need not understand all the things it, it by any yardstick it does not mean that the people have not slogged or people didn't work hard or people not are not capable this attempt of solving it from the scratch has resulted in this kind of a position. So, the justification for programming paradigms, ideas, concepts, abstraction is self explained because we can attempt any number of times and each time we cannot claim that we, we failed 999 times and succeeded once. There must be some generic ideas and that is how we progress that that is the place where object oriented analysis has been scoring very well. So, each one of us are is potentially capable of coming up with the method there are certain standard methods even then the question remains will it work for me in the kind of a context where we are trying to do software engineering the kind of set the domains that we are involving the kind of stakeholders the kind of approach we have taken the language skill available and so on and so forth. The business context is different suddenly they cannot switch a language for a purpose. Every language introduces a huge inventory for them which fills lot of almiras and everything. So, the business context has its own charms we are we are not comparing again at any point in time, but then having a method has helped everybody academic business all stakeholders wanted a method a common method common terminology which all of us can understand in the in the in the very nice business context we are all on the same page until then we didn't know how to come on the same page so now we are all on the same page and if we shift it to the quality these are all nice quantifiable aspects there are qualitative aspects we understand we do lot of things, but then coming on the same page with quantitative makes it appear manageable instinctly immediately we know that it is all manageable. So, that is how we have been talking about object oriented methods we will come all the people all stakeholders all domains all contexts all approaches all language level features that table kind of a thing which I have shown with 11 object oriented concepts and 7 languages gives a very quick idea than picking 7 volumes on each of the languages and 3 books on object oriented concepts see how difficult it is to put them together just make one table 
that is a method which we have evolved. It was there when I was doing research in operating systems, it is there in languages, it is very common method. It is a very, very common method which works at, at in so many, so many contexts. You talk about purchases, you talk about vendors, there is a comparison table, comparative chart. That is a method, it is a well established method. So, 7 languages, 11 concepts, we found the use for the method called comparative chart. A chart has been prepared, we compare. Very well known method. We have never failed in that method, but then we were always capable of coming up with a chart that serves nobody. If you want to please everybody, you please none. That is the idea. We have always shown that propensity to prepare comparative charts that take us nowhere neither they are facilitating a decision nor facilitating an understanding of what exactly the ground reality is. So, these are the difficulties, but it is a common method. PowerPoint is a common method of making things happen in this manner. So, we have spoken about approach, methodology, method, procedure, technique, all those things practices will be a little higher because they are also managerial, they are not entirely technical. Technique is something which is technical, it is it, it, just like that it is technical. Uh, we keep telling that a, a wire has broken, now do not worry too much about putting a tape or anything. First things first, you cut the wire a little bit, join the, join the broken parts, put it together, it will work, it will work. It is just a technique, good, bad, right, wrong, that we will find out later. What does the procedure tell? The procedure will tell that the, the wire got broken and if you have done some kind of a, a sharpening and to put the to get the copper wire out and the coating away, when you are tying those two wires at each place where you are tying, the procedure will tell you have to put a tape and the color of tape. All these have been good skills in engineering which tell automatically when the color of the tape is red, when the color of the tape is green, when the color of the tape is blue, when the color of the tape is black, it tells. We are not averse to color code, color code is a technique. One has a red color code, blue color. So, we keep talking about all those nice ideas, they are called techniques. A procedure will tell you that this is all should be done to make a follow through for a technique. So, without much ado about these terminologies we are now right at this page. This is an optimal idea, method is an optimal idea that brings all of us into the correct one page on a single page. That is a nice business term which has been doing rounds. Let us all come to a same page. Method will bring everything to a same page. Most methods have specific set of notations and some of them have tools to help. Some of these methods are proprietary or commercial or both, some are both in the sense that they, they are not available for others, they are on sale, but then we like to pick those methods which are open and they would not simply tell that it is all hidden. So, most methods have specific set of notations, most of the methods which we are talking are like that. Only one book was talking very nicely eloquently about object oriented methods, the same title by Ian Graham, the second edition. To that, the, that was early 90s. Uh, very soon by 2000 UML was becoming promising and the fourth edition of the book is totally UML. Fortunately, the author has found it necessary to have a few pages for a quick review of the methods, uh, but then the object oriented method, the second edition by Ian Graham is a very comprehensive study, very insightful study that the big volume, it is a big volume bound book of 600 pages or something like that and you can come across virtually every method that people were talking about. There are so many methods, it is very difficult to cover in a single lecture. Object oriented analysis methods. Another distinction is that some methods are good only for analysis, which is essentially top down. Design implies a bottom up construction that can happen parallelly. The design fellow says, yes, this is an object which is well modeled, keep it aside. Like that he will put several objects, the moment you see some objects coming together, you can start construction. So, I said the same Microsoft competition was there, code pieces were given, they will have to tie up the code pieces to come up with the prize winning idea. There is no limit on the imagination, they can 
keep working. So, it is like that object oriented analysis methods code Yodan method remains a very first start it is more like out of academic interest now it is an academic interest we think that Peter Code and Edward Yodan who were very nicely articulating in the area of structured systems analysis and design SSADM which they stabilized in a remarkable manner and in a very nice manner using so many ideas in a very standardized manner structured systems analysis and design was their strong beginning in the field of software engineering and it is very nice that they themselves have moved over into object oriented analysis it is only analysis method that is how we learnt the very first brush of understanding what is thinking objectively thinking in objects there are so many books so many books have been written tomes have been written thinking in java is a book big tome thinking in objects everything is like that in the, in the field of computing recursion is a great idea thinking recursively is a book pointers is a book it is not the volume that we cannot write or volume that needs to be written it is an insight a, a way of looking at things which quickly told us that normally we are doing structured systems analysis and design if we change that analysis a little because it comes top down without going into too many details we quickly understood what is it that is to be changed first the analysis that is good contribution by Peter Code and Yodan Edward Yodan. So, in this method they talked about subjects, objects, structures, attributes, services. Now, you please understand that the moment we talk about each method it is not only the notations it is also the verb by age the terms they use is completely different for each method we will end up in a chaos very soon nobody will understand anybody else they were called method wars beating around the bush trying around some things which were not at all standardized. So, please look at those few standard terms which you should map each time what is a method unless it is adhering to this standard please do not call it a method anything even half uh, through on the methodology is still not acceptable as a methodology. So, that is how we should be subjects, objects, structures, attributes, services everything can be different in this. So, Code Yodan that is Code and Yodan there are two people Peter Code and Edward Yodan, Edward Yodan is no more, uh, but then Peter Code and Yodan they had given they have given a notation. It is not the object, but a representation symbol for an OOA class and its objects. The OOA class generalization is represented like this, whole part structure is represented like that. Instance connection one to many, message connection simple, few notations, it looks like you know an, an, an AND gate, generalization or inheritance, whole part structure. So, they have a separate notation different terminology which works if you are consistently using that particular method it is correct they can do that. What happened some good stories have been built those people who started off with them with SSADM found it very quick adaptation to understanding what is it that we should do differently for object oriented analysis first the analysis has to change we cannot analyze in the simple uh, earlier manner. Scheler Meller object oriented systems analysis OOSA identifying objects this is typically what we do most of the times in teaching after this method has become quite popular we begin and spend quite some time on tangible things which should speak for themselves whether all tangible things here are helping me solve the problem at hand you can neither say yes nor no I can say yes yes it is true it is only because all the things here are there I am doing the lecture the thumb rule. Well at a pinch I can tell that no 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 out of this 10 of them do not have any connection with your lecture or a thumb rule for a start yes everything here is enabling my lecture. Not only this there are 50 other things which you are not seeing they are abstractly making this lecture happen it is quite possible you can stretch that argument. So, where is that analysis coming where is that systems analysis happening. So, we first focused on tangible things most of the times in teaching learning for particularly for the young students 
we try to pepper the discussions or keep focus on tangible things so that they very quickly identify this is it but then it is abstractions please please understand that what gives us the power to generalize today we came up with a software engineering piece here can we do it in another place next time that is a question mark so that is the power of abstraction we should be able to abstract even the tangible things in the focus on so much on things today we have a separate idea coming as internet of things everything is abstracted roles incidents interactions specification now they have brought in this idea of model which is what we do most of the times that is they should not only stop uh, they, they, they cannot stop simply with only the object identification but they should go towards the object identification and modeling data model object attributes and relationships state model state transition diagrams process model data flow diagram so they have three models into which whatever objects have been identified like that tangible thing is the first rule then it has a role to play it has an incident where it should be called in interactions specifications and three models quite a number of people were happy with this OO systems analysis Schleyer Meller they said that oh this is a great idea because very quickly we know what we are seeing tangible things made them believe that they have identified objects very fast the earlier method is silent on it it is only a different way of thinking very limited scope because it stems predominantly from structured systems analysis and design which was well established by the same people the way of thinking differently with OA was extremely useful and it so happened that they banked it on a simple idea again what Encyclopedia Britannica defined as a classification theory it was good it, it has helped us but there is a very small simple method people have been fighting even today people will fight on that but let us proceed further another method object oriented systems analysis Schleyer Meller method roles incidents interactions three models the OSA model is designed with the idea that reality is represented instead of some particular programming language so we are not talking about an approach this is very very essential in computing uh, very soon the Schleyer Meller method which is what we are talking about that they have given they said my first requirement is how close we are to the reality please do not talk about 30,000 feet above the sea level 50,000 feet about the sea level above the sea level very soon whenever I want to take a review I should be close to the reality again there are lot of philosophical ideas about reality mathematical reality is its own case we do not know what is mathematical reality please remember the same old story we talk about the Pythagoras uh, he has imagined the new theater and it happened what was reality for him including root 2 nobody knew nobody around him knew except him including that symbol I have got a new way of working new way of thinking we have irrational numbers how did it begin how did it begin it began with a theater a realism real physical exercise of an object an amphitheater that is how it began see the power of abstraction one theater was built exactly one with all the challenges Pythagoras was a demigod for some time it appears because they had Pythagoreans he had a uh, had a following saying that yes what Pythagoras did will work because nobody was sure including the king whether what he said what he was talking about will work so a new theater was built the world has changed forever that is the power of abstraction irrational numbers root 2 thirds they are called it is a class of mathematics which he has created one instance of solution is the theater doubling so the diagonal was the new side of the theater and that if a is the side a root 2 is the new side of the, th of the new theater only one solution but has forever changed we talk about such things as great ideas mathematical reality is like that all that is fine suddenly if it appears real it is virtually changing many things same was the case with software when it was puzzle problem it was all right but then once it became algorithmic it became disruptive 
if it is very specific you solve your puzzle you solve your problems who cares whether you are banging your head down three walls or five walls that is of no 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 concern if it becomes algorithmic that is the first semblance of a generic way of solving a class of problems then it becomes disruptive so three data models we have been talking about then osa model is designed with the idea that reality is represented instead of some particular programming language we don't run into the approach very soon we have created one more provision for reality check the underlying concepts of osa are based on formal definitions of system data and behavior modeling osa can conveniently be seen as consisting of three parts orm object relationship model obm object behavioral model oim object interaction model three part so it has so many symbols so many notations each is specific to osa it is only one model object relationship model and only for analysis it has nothing to do with the design so this was a good reason to believe that object oriented thinking object oriented analysis is different it have to do it like this it cannot be done like earlier block structured step wise refinement while we learned those ideas in building several other things including traceability to what we are talking this is how we should look at don't depend on structure that is simply by telling that i know c if i add two three features i will know c++ is not correct that is a different approach c++ is a different approach so osa the three models object relationship model has this many notations object behavioral model has this many notations all separate all fresh the schleyer meller method it was great for the object identification because very quickly we started seeing tangible it was great because it was emphasizing reality at any point when i am checking i am not so much worried about the abstraction how close it is to the reality because you have been telling all along that an object is the best model is the best representation of a real life entity so how close you are to the reality check at every given point in time i would want to make that happen how real it is so some of those realisms in our abstract world have always been fascinating great eye catching solutions have happened but then let's proceed further object behavioral model so many notations object interaction model so many notations now we have always been telling that it's the easiest thing we can do put one lightning effect what is that lightning effect every notation is so specific tomes and tomes have been written about osa object interaction model but that's how it is osa leveling that is it is a hierarchy and at every level only the peer objects are likely to interact and necessary to explore you should take care of the hierarchy you cannot simply explore just like that so it is something which we need to understand very carefully that we need to have a level a hierarchy at what level what object can work hierarchical design all these things are there we will see as we progress so schleyer meller attempted to have a complete way of understanding the model with diagrams it's very rich in diagrams very rich it does not mean that if you have more notations more diagrammatic notations you will always do better that is not the yardstick that we are talking about business object notation another method the business object notation is a method and graphical notation for high level object oriented analysis and design the three main concepts of born method are seamlessness reversibility and software contracting seamlessness is the principle of using a consistent set of concepts and notations throughout the life cycle avoiding the impedance mismatches of traditional approaches every time we talked about a life cycle traditionally we have this impedance every phase can have its own ideally it should have then it has a clearly demarcated phase it has its own notation it has its own team it has its own way of telling that this is what we do the phase when we put the next phase it is completely different totally different notation but we keep telling that they are linked so the very idea of life cycle phases until practitioners approach came we could not study the boat 
uh, always rocked. Oh, this is something here, this is something here, who did this, who did this, where. Please remember at that time they were all in the same organization, the same physical infrastructure. They were not spread all over the world, but still they had all these troubles. But then that is how the basic principles were. The practitioner's approach gave us a little bit of a leeway in having some, some way of matching the impedance whenever we want. So, Bond scored very well on the seamlessness. We were always hoping that we will get notations, we will get things which are seamless across the life cycle. That is the idea which we, with which we started. And uh, reversibility guarantees that changes made at any step in the process even as late as detailed implementation or maintenance can be reflected all the way back. It is a dream of many people who started doing two way traceability. Tracing from top down to bottom up is perhaps what textbooks talk, but tracing from bottom to the top reversibility, the two way traceability remains a very stiff challenge in the practice of software engineering, but we want to do that. It is worth it. We have been talking about reversibility guarantees, but then please understand that this notation promised at a very high level, very high level of object oriented and analysis and design. I can start from the requirement, go all the way to the design, start with the design and go back to the requirement. Two way traceability, which is a stiff challenge even today by any yardstick. Software contracting, this is what I uh, uh, we, have, we have spoken, one of the languages. Uh, which has been there, Eiffel has been designed by Bertrand Mayer, it is an award winning effort. He has started what is called object oriented software construction. So, the moment you have a stockpile of objects, please keep thinking parallelly which objects will get together to make some, some functionality happen about what you are trying to engineer as software. Bertrand Mayer gave us a great idea called design by contract. So, it is just a contractual obligation that I have with my team here, I will end up at so and so time, I will have to leave at so and so time, please facilitate my work within that spell. The design by contract, it has been built in. It is a good idea, again it is a simple idea that is pervasive, it works everywhere like your comparison chart, it works everywhere. When done well, it is a great idea, we know how to synchronize, we know how to call for meetings, so that is how it is weaves the construction of a software system as a succession of precise. So, what we have done so far is try to understand the core terms which will enable you to look at all these methods without confusing or without losing your way. Some of these methods are only object oriented analysis. This method called BORN is more analysis method because it is a very high level. We have taken a look at three such methods. The SSADM people Peter Code and Edward, Yo, Edward Yodan gave a nice way of illustrating why we should think differently at the analysis phase, but then it did not take us far. OSA by Schleyer Miller was a very good attempt rich in visual representations, too many diagrams, so much of diagram with limited tool support did not succeed and it is all only for analysis. The design we do not know and design occupies maximum time in OOAD. The third one is business obje object notation, it is a very high level OAD method, typically it is an analysis method, but it showed us that there are three important things which we should think of. One number one is uh, what is called seamlessness, works through the entire life cycle, occasionally we tend to call it end to end, but seamlessness is the correct term. Reversibility, two way traceability from top to bottom, bottom to top, software contracting that is design by contract, I feel as a language. This is just about the essence of what we have done in this lecture until now. Thank you.